Hello, my name is Kurt Gibson, and on behalf of the entire IHSA staff, I want to welcome you to this short presentation for the upcoming Summer Officials Conference on Speaker Planning for Emergency Situations. This video was put together to provide speakers with some guidance and direction on how emergency situations or situations when someone might be injured in some fashion uh, could, could possibly occur during the officials conference. We want to make sure that we're providing good leadership for all of you in the event something were to occur and provide you with some guidance on how uh, we, we would ask that you respond in those situations. We know that your participation in this conference is, is so critical to the growth and development officiating in our state and we know that you've given up of your time here this summer to make yourself available and, we, and our entire staff is extremely grateful for that. Your ability to share your experiences and expertise is so important. We want this to be a successful experience for you and we feel like by providing these few uh, simple pieces of guidance you'll feel more uh, prepared to do a great job at the conference this summer. When you check in for the conference, you'll be given, uh, in addition to some other materials, uh, a packet, which we'll just sort of call your emergency action plan for all and for any and all sessions that you'll be presenting. I'm beginning here with a map, a campus map of Normal West High School. And you'll notice on this map that the letter A, the letter D, and the letter E are all circled. Uh, letter A represents the main entrance to Normal West High School, and that's circled in blue. And then letters D and E are circled in orange, and they represent, I guess, what I'll call a secondary entrance. And between the three of those, those are going to be the main entrances that people will use when coming to the conference. Uh, in the event there's an emergency situation, if a, if you are or your secondary responder is asked to contact 911, you'd want to direct the responders to enter likely through one of these doors and most likely door A. This map also is um, consistent with what anyone who presents in the auditorium will receive because you'll notice on this map the auditorium is highlighted in yellow and then there's an orange AED unit that's also highlighted. And for each area where presentations will occur, we're trying to help you identify where the nearest AED is in the event you need it. There will also be one at the registration table, which is sort of in between the, the main and what I'll call secondary entrances right there by the cafeteria. We're going to move registration away from the auditorium uh, and into what they call the atrium there at the school. So there will always be not only personnel there, but uh, emergency supplies, including a AED in that location. So in addition to the campus map that highlights where you're presenting and where the nearest AED is. There will be two other items. The first is a, a specific one-page emergency action plan or EAP and you see an example of that to the left on this slide. And then the second item will be a set of instructions that come uh, to our office and then to you directly from Normal West High School in Unit 5. So on the left here you see this venue specific uh, EAP and you can see, you know, the registration table is where uh, supplies, medical supplies, I'll say, along with an, an additional AED and emergency contact information will be located. The emergency contact information really shouldn't be of much concern to you, but just know that we have that and as needed, we'll be able to access that for all attendees. But you do see down at the bottom, um, in the event that you have to have someone call 911, uh, how, how to have those people explain to the responders where to enter the school. We would just ask that you familiarize yourself with the packet and the lay of the land before each of your sessions. 
again, just to give yourself some confidence in, in terms of being able to, to respond in, in case some kind of an emergency situation occurs. This page then shows the instructions that uh, we receive from Unit 5 and are now sharing with you. You can see at the very top of the page uh, cell phone numbers for myself and Melissa Burt. And Melissa has been instrumental in planning the, the conferences. She's done a tremendous job. But you have immediate ways you can contact us. You can also send someone to the registration area where someone will be at all times. Um, but we're going to designate the main presenter of each session as the lead responder. We're going to ask that you find someone to serve as a secondary responder. And that person may be charged with contacting the registration table, contacting Melissa or I, maybe that's the person who will go and get the AD, I don't know. Uh, but we need you to have an assistant, if you will, uh, in the event some kind of situation unfolds. But we really need you to just be calm, take charge of the situation, sort of be the, uh, be the lead official, <laughs> you know, if you, if you want to think of it in, in that way. Uh, we really just want to have a coordinated response and between Melissa and I, will be, uh, I, I feel extremely good in saying, we will have an additional person helping you in that moment within seconds once we know of a situation that's been occurring. Uh, so these instructions will be in your packet, familiarize yourself with those. And again, I think that's just gonna help you feel uh, more confident as you prepare for this summer's conference. So as we get ready to bring this presentation to a close again, we just sort of show you the campus map again. Uh, we we'll just ask you to try to maybe arrive a little early for your session or session so you can get a lay of the land, be familiar with where your room is in relation to the registration. Maybe you and your, your secondary responder can sort of do a little walkthrough and know where everything is located. Uh, but just uh, familiarize yourselves with the campus and uh, You'll be, you'll be prepared then in the event should anything happen that requires some immediate and emergent attention. Thanks again for all you do, uh, not only during the school year, helping young people, helping member schools through your officiating, but also through your participation in this year's conference. I hope this short presentation uh, is useful. Uh, and just provides you that little layer, that added layer of security as you get ready to do a tremendous job helping other officials grow at this summer's IHSA Officials Conference. Thanks again.